Help support the companies that support our community.
finished the whole piece with the Howard's beeswax before I put the canopy on. So I just brushed it on the entire thing, wiped off the excess, and let it set up for a couple hours before I went ahead and uh, put the canopy on. I didn't want to get the wax on, on the leather on that. So the whole piece is made out of maple and walnut. I did do a little bone steering wheel while the wax was drying. I went ahead and made a little steering wheel and I used a toothpick as a dowel for that. So I'm going to spare you the majority of sewing on the canopy. Uh, not a seamstress. It probably took me more time to sew that thing on than it did to turn all the little spindles for it. One suggestion though, if you're going to make one of these, the spindles that go out over the dashboard, drill a little hole out there in the end of them. So I, I did that. I did it on the last one I did too. That way when you're sewing on the canopy, it stays out on the end and the thread doesn't just, just slide back to the, the uh, you know, on, on the dowels. So, um, it, the, as far as the, the leather goes for that, it's just a chamois. Got it at the auto parts store. They work perfect for little projects like this when you need a, need a little piece of leather. But it's super fun. I, when I did the other one um, years ago, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So I put a picture up on Instagram and I had some great, great suggestions. Somebody said maybe do Fred and Barney, like a little weeble wobble in there. And then uh, maybe do, do the Bronto ribs too. So that would be fun. If I ever do another one, I will do that. Well, there it is. It is seven inches long and five inches tall. Super fun project. Um, and the one thing I did do different on this one is on the last one, I on these these right here, the, the chassis, I went ahead and just sanded those on the spindle sander and left them kind of rough so it looked, looked like a log, like it was, you know, a rough log. On the other ones, I think I rounded them all over, but it's out of, yeah, beautiful maple burl. The uh, chassis is walnut, and the only other thing that's that's different wood is the the Bacote I did for the steering wheel, but super fun. I I enjoyed doing stuff like this, so maybe I'll do another one here in a couple of years and do the do the uh, Fred and Barney and the ribs. All right, so as far as the car goes, uh, Ulysses he has has bought a few things from us on Instagram over the years. And or not on Instagram on on Etsy. And last week he bought, bought a couple things, and he asked if I ever do another uh, Flintstones car, would it please give him a heads up so he would because uh, he really wanted one. He's a big fan. So Ulysses, thank you so much for your support over the years. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the kind words. But this one is not for sale. This one is on the house, and it is on its way to Texas. So. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. All right. That is about it for this week. We have the craft, sh craft festival coming up on Saturday. So it's tomorrow. Uh, it starts early in the morning over in England again and runs all the way through the day here in the U.S. So if you don't have any plans for the weekend, please join in. I will have a link down below in the description of everybody that's going to be in it and where you can find everybody. So we have a YouTube channel set up, so you only have to go to one place and you can, you can uh, watch whoever you want all day long. All right. Again, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.